how to set up a page and amend your artboard size in Adobe Illustrator. So I've just got Adobe Illustrator opened up and there's two ways to do it. You've got this new file on the left hand side at the top or you can go to file new and up pops a dialog box. Now I've got some presets here and the presets I've got are just some that I use all the time, even like A4 or a screen size. So just to set up an A4 document as an example, we will go to 297 in there millimeters obviously because we're working in millimeters height of an a4 document is 210 we're going to do it so it's horizontal or that would be landscape we don't need any bleed in this document because i'm not planning to send it to print if we did we'd add three mil bleed if we were planning to do print we'd use cmyk but we're just going to leave it as rgb because it's for screen and just for an example i like to do all of my design work in raster effects at 300 ppi it's also known as dots per inch in other worlds for printing. Once we've got that set up, we click create and up pops your document. Let's say, for example, you wanted to change the size of the document. At the top here, we've got this document set up. You click on that and up pops this box. The easiest way to adjust the size of your page or artboards is what they call them in Adobe Illustrator. We click on this edit artboards and up at the top here, we've got the different sizes. So we've got the original size here, 297 by 210, which we've just set up in our original page size. If you want to change the size of the document, let's say we wanted to change it to A3, we're gonna change the height to 420. I'm gonna press enter, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit, and now it's changed the size of the document. So what if we want to change the orientation? We go up to the left hand side, and up at the top here, you can see the orientation you can have it landscape or portrait. And if you want to change to some presets as well, there's all these different presets here that you could use. So let's say you were going to do a iPad, for example, it'll give you an iPad size. And if you want to do back to A4 or even smaller A5, you can adjust the size of your artboards. So let's say we've got this A5 artboard here and we want to create an A4 and an A3. We click new artboard and it puts it next to the old one. Now, because we're still in document setup, we can then go to this drop down and go to A4. Now we've got an A5 and an A4. If we wanted to add a further artboard, we add another one, and it's just added that artboard as the same as the last one we created, so that's an A4. To create an extra size one up to A3, we follow the instructions again, and we just repeat the process and you could have any number of artboards at any different sizes as well that's how to set up a page or artboard in adobe illustrator if you got something out of the video hit like consider subscribing and i will see you in another one of my videos